In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord as one family, and we beg for the grace that, sh that we may truly understand the meaning of laying down our lives for our friends. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole Church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. 
When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth, be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. Please stand. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. So that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There are times that the words of Jesus in our Gospel has been too romanticized. Madali kasing sabihin sa kaibigan natin na iaalay ko yung buhay ko para sa iyo. That is very easy to say when there is no immediate threat involved. Kung wala namang nagbabanta sa buhay natin, kapalit ng buhay ng kaibigan natin, kayang-kaya nating sabihin yon sa kaibigan natin kahit pa ulit-ulit, no? Kaibigan mo ko, iaalay ko yung buhay ko para sa iyo. Kaibigan mo ako, maaasahan mo ako. Pero kung may nakatutok ng baril sa atin at may sumisigaw sa harap natin na nagsasabing yung buhay ba natin o yung buhay ng kaibigan natin, kakayanin pa rin, kakayanin pa rin kaya nating masabi yung mga salitang yon sa kaibigan natin. Kaya pa rin kaya nating sabihin na iaalay ko yung buhay ko sa buhay mo. Kung may nakatutok ng baril o di kayo may nakatutok na kutsilyo sa atin at may bantana sa buhay natin. Baka nga tayo pa yung unang tumakbo palayo dahil sa takot. Baka iwan pa natin yung kaibigan natin 
sa gitna ng nakakatakot na eksenang iyon. But what does Jesus really mean when he says the words, "No one has no no love, no one no love has greater than the, than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends." For obvious reasons, he was describing his action for all of us. He was describing the way he will lay down his life for us. But those words are not merely descriptive. It is also a challenge. First, it is a challenge for us to look at how we relate with Jesus. Do we consider him as our friend? And are we willing to lay down our life for that friendship? It may not necessarily mean shedding our own blood, but with the choices that we make, do we prioritize our friendship with Jesus over everything? Again, this is very easy to say, but when we are already confront but when we are already confronted with real life situations we might easily forget it madaling sabihin pero pag nandun na sa sitwasyon baka madali ding makalimutan secondly it is a challenge for us on how we relate with our friends Hindi naman araw-araw may nagbabanta sa buhay natin at magtatanong kung kaya ba natin iala yung buhay natin para sa kaibigan natin. But laying down our life, our, laying down our life for our friend would also mean not being a burden to our brothers and sisters. We are not burdens for them, but it is us who takes on that burden and will never be a burden for others. And these are the everyday challenge for us. First, to recognize our choices as anchored in our friendship with Jesus. Because when we prioritize the choice of Jesus over our own personal choices, that is also a mark that we have laid down our life for our friend Jesus. Secondly, the role of lightening the burden of others and never being the burden for them. Madalas ito yung nakakalimutan natin. Minsan man na naisasantabi din natin sa mga pakikitungo natin sa ating maksa ating kapwa. Maaring hindi natin sila ginagawa ng masama, pero tayo pala yung nagiging dahilan ng pagkakaroon nila ng mabigat na pasanin. Hopefully, we remember these two challenges. When Jesus said those words, it is not because he wants to romanticize our friendships. It is a challenge and it is a, and it, and it is a guide. It is a challenge to look deeper into our friendships, especially with our friendship with Jesus. It is also a guide, a guide to remind us on how we relate not only to our friends, but also to those whom we not consider as friends. Because ultimately, friendship will not just be based on those we know and those who we do not know. Friendship will also be based on our relationship with Jesus and how we live it through our relationship with our brothers and sisters. Please stand. Christ calls us his friends and commands us to love one another. Let us show that love by the sincerity of our prayers. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called to preach the gospel in any way may proclaim the good news of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That political leaders may fear God, 
and do what is in accord with the words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That married couples may take to heart our Lord's command to love one another, even in the most trying situations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may find love in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that God may grant eternal peace to our departed brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Lord God, hear our prayers and let your love grow in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that we should enter under, under my roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, word, and, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.